footage, but it doesn't seem like a lot of people want to report on what the reality is of what's happening here in Puerto Rico. So what I'm going to ask you to do right now is share, share, share this video. I made it public so you guys can share because I want to make sure you guys know what's happening here in Puerto Rico. Number one, I'm here right now as a civilian. I'm not on military orders. I'm here on my own account right now. I'm sitting myself as a civilian right now, so I want to make sure everyone knows that. Number two, the reason I'm doing this is because right now, in the heart of San Juan, Puerto Rico, um, in the metro area, in the capital, what's happening right now is I'm in a hotel before we fly out tomorrow and I want you guys to know something. I'm really frustrated, I'm really angry right now and I have to say this and I say this with the most emotion that I have in my heart today and I wasn't going to post anything but I had to put something live because of the fact that I'm sitting here right now in a hotel in the heart of San Juan where FEMA where the Corps of Engineers are, where government employees are right now sitting in a hotel with electricity, with Wi-Fi, and alcohol, hot meals, and everything else. Now you would think when there is a state of disaster that the government would work around the clock to make sure that the relief efforts of the people of Puerto Rico need it are happening on a consistent basis. But I'm gonna flip this camera around and I want you to see just one of the many hotels that are out here right now holding all these people, government, FEMA, and all these other people that are sitting here having drinks, not doing anything with respect to the relief efforts. And I wanted to bring this reality to you guys because I'm not sure what's being reported back in the States, but I went to over 32 towns here in Puerto Rico of the 78 that exist. And in six days of those 32 towns, zero, zero relief efforts has made it out to the people of Puerto Rico. I circled the island twice, went to the center twice, and I've gotten zero, zero outcomes with respect to what has come. No military personnel, no government personnel, no FEMA personnel have gone out to any of the 32 places. So I'm going to live stream this. And this right now is from the second floor. And if it's dark, I'm sorry, but this is the second floor. If you look at the table, all that's alcohol, a ton of alcohol. Everybody's drinking right now. A ton of drinking. A ton of people just sitting around doing nothing, getting paid with our wonderful tax dollars. There's the bar. Look how crowded the bar is right now. And everyone is in there. These are these are tax paying dollars. While I have to sit here and watch people who are suffering throughout the entire island. Everybody in that space right there, these are all military and government personnel. And the reason I know that is because when we were getting checked in, they said only military, government, FEMA personnel were allowed to come here. So look, if you guys look, everybody in here. All these wonderful people are just drinking, hanging out, no relief efforts, there's no clock here. Nothing here is what the media is reporting. For a fact, I could tell you guys this, I'm going to go downstairs right to where the bar area is, I'll ask them, every single person in here, I'm happy to ask them, who are you guys with? Are you with FEMA? Are you with the military? Are you with the emergency operations unit? Not a single person will tell you that they're out there doing work and they won't because they're sitting where there's hot meals, where there's Wi-Fi, where there's alcohol and they're all sitting here right now enjoying the wonderful luxuries in the capital of San Juan where most of the areas already happen. Let me tell you something, the government has failed Americans. The government has not done anything, anything with respect to the relief efforts in the heart of Puerto Rico. We traveled this entire island twice twice getting to people that needed relief and not a single person has reported that any relief efforts has got to them it's been two weeks 
These are American people and not a single person has gone to them. Instead, if you look behind me, everybody's sitting at a bar or in the casino or they're sitting there drinking instead of sitting there working around the clock. There are people who are still missing. They won't report that. They're not reporting all the bodies and all the people who have died. A lot of people have died in Puerto Rico and they won't report that because they don't want anyone at all to get affected by it. The fact of the matter is that it's not happening. FEMA's here. The emergency operations center is here. The military's here. The efforts are here. The generators are here. The water is here. The food is here. The money has come in. But yet they sit here instead of actually going out there to do all the things they're supposed to be doing. 32 towns in Puerto Rico visited in six days and not one person said that there was relief efforts made. There's no running water. There's no drinkable water. There's no food. People are standing in lines for hours just to get a $100 limit. They're, first of all, they're not even supposed to be taking their own money out for food. It was declared a disaster zone. It became a federal emergency. That means that it is our duty as Americans to help fellow Americans out and bring them out of disaster zones. But instead, I'm going to turn the freaking camera around again so you guys could see what the hell is actually happening and why the people of Puerto Rico have not been helped yet. That's a bar. Half those people there are either military, government, or FEMA. They're all drinking. All the people down below, they're all drinking. All those people there, all those people over here, the tables are full. Everybody's just drinking. It happens to be free cocktails in San Juan over here where they're doing. All these people walking in there, you see all those people in black suits? Those people there, yep, those are FEMA personnel with corporate jets. Nobody's working around the clock here. Everybody's just drinking right now. And that's the truth. That's, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. In San Juan, you get here and it looks great. People, there's power in all the hotels and everything else. It doesn't look like they skipped a beat. But the fact of the matter is, step outside of San Juan. Go to the next barrio. Go to Piñones, next door where the kiosks don't exist anymore. Go next door to Toa Baja, where the houses were six feet under. And maybe the houses are dry right now, but the reality is that those houses, even though they were six feet under, they lost everything. They have no drinking water. They have no food. They were given a box, a box that didn't even last them two days with a family of four. Okay, there's no help. There's no, I don't know what the heck FEMA, I actually, met with a Sergeant Smith. He happens to be part of the Emergency Operations Center, that station here in Puerto Rico. Their job is to get all the people together on the same page so that the help gets to the people. He had no idea that he was talking to someone that knows all about emergency operations and everything else when it comes to the relief efforts. And the sad part is, is that he says, they all can't just get it together. It's not hard. In about 10 minutes, I was able to figure out how to get support to every single of the 78 towns in Puerto Rico. I have no idea what the government's doing, but I do know where all the help is for the Puerto Ricans right now. And at least one of the 20 big hotels here that are operating with hot meals, drinks, alcohol, and everything else. The reality is that there's people, hundreds of bodies, hundreds, of bodies and people who are still missing in this Hurricane Maria disaster. They won't report that and they're not going to report that because of the simple fact that they don't want to alarm the American people. What's the news flash? The people of Puerto Rico are American. That's not new. I don't, ha I don't have the slightest clue why anyone would think that's not even possible. I don't care if there is a body of water in between us. You don't have enough trucks? Fly them over on a C-17. We have the capability to do it. You don't have enough personnel to drive the trucks? The military has trained personnel that can drive the trucks. FEMA works on a volunteer basis. You people have no idea how much the people are suffering right now when it comes to Puerto Rico. The people are suffering 32 cities in six days and not a single ounce of support went. And I'm actually going to go downstairs because I don't know if you can actually see what's happening here. But I yeah, that's what everybody's doing right now. They're drinking, they're playing poker. That's the reality of what they're doing right now.
from FEMA and the military and the government and everything else sitting here in a luxury hotel while they relax with their hot meal instead of working around the clock, which is what should be happening. At the end of the day, the American people of the USA, we have failed the American people of Puerto Rico. We have failed the American people of Puerto Rico. And it's unacceptable. It's unacceptable what we've been seeing. This is one of about 20 hotels that has the same thing. They're all booked, all booked to capacity. Call any of the hotels in San Juan right now. They are booked to capacity with FEMA, with military and emergency operation government personnel. They're booked to capacity. You know what that means, right? That means that there's people here to help. There's generators, there's food, there's water sitting at a military installation because they can't figure out where the trucks are gonna come from or how to get people to drive it there. They, that's their excuse. They haven't figured it out. You know what? I managed to get to over 32 towns in six days and get more to people with my one hand than the entire government has been able to do in an entire two week period. That is unacceptable. USA, you have failed the American people of Puerto Rico. If they stand up, it is merely by the hearts and the sweat and the blood of their own hands. You have failed the American people of Puerto Rico. We are not parasites. We are not parasites. We deserve better. We helped every relief effort when they were in crisis, and yet we are left to the bottom. We are a priority. But if this island stands up, it is not by the efforts of anything coming in by the government, because they're all sitting here drinking alcohol instead of working 24 hours a day. It is only by the hands of the Puerto Rican people that they have stood up with these efforts. And at the end of the day, I am sorry, it's not in my character to go live like this, but six days of seeing the emotion, six days of connecting families, six days of, you know, taking out money that has come and been given out because they don't have access to money and they're buying stuff. You shouldn't be buying stuff. It was declared a disaster zone for a reason. A disaster zone should mean something, America. It means that you get the help to them. 14 days later but let me not let me just say this you're gonna be deceived you're gonna be deceived when you come here if you decide to travel here because when you land here you're gonna see an island that has green again because in a week the trees started to bloom in a week the people have cleaned up in a week the water where houses were six feet under are back to no water all they've done is remove stuff. They're taking it out. They're removing the trash. So the houses of Puerto Rico are as strong as the people and their hearts. They are strong homes. They're made of cement. They are surviving. But those people who are sitting in there cleaning and doing all of these efforts at the end of the day are doing it on their own account. People are going to come here. They're going to visit the island. And this is what they're going to say. President Donald Trump being one of them, him and his staff, if and when they travel to Puerto Rico. Oh, it doesn't look as, as bad as it was reporting. Newsflash, it took you two fucking weeks to get here. Two. Would you think that the water is not going to settle? No, it settles. The people weren't going to sit there and swim around their little house. They're going to make sure that their house got dried up. They were going to make sure that they fed their neighbor that didn't have food. They're going to make sure that the kid who didn't have clothes because it all went under got clothes. The people of Puerto Rico have been the only people standing this place up. I stand firm on that. This is not the first hotel that I stopped at in San Juan. And they all, and I say again, they have all been under the same position. They work their few hours of the day. They come back to the hotel, wasting the tax dollars. And then they sit here with their little badges and their little cool hats and everything else. And they waste the American people's money while people are still left starving, dying, and in need. I can't stress that enough.